it seemed to me that Homo habilis, a tiny little guy, 90 pounds, armed with uh, wonderful tools like this, was an unlikely creature to be a predator and to be, made, be a major hunter. In fact, one could even say it was a ridiculous idea to imagine. What is it about uh, the evidence at Old Divide that's led you to such a different interpretation? Well, one of the first things is the same problem with the hunting. That is, it was assumed that they behaved like us, so they had to live in home bases and they had to behave like many modern hunters and gatherers do. If you make the assumption, then you never investigate the past. So let's investigate it. It's hard to imagine this as a base camp where rational hominids would be sleeping. They would uh, not last very long, I don't think. Well, how do you explain then this concentration of stones and bones that some archaeologists have cited as, as evidence, as proof for a hunter's base camp? Well, there's no question that the hunters produced this concentration, in my opinion. The issue is, what were they doing? We can make, I think, a strong case that they were collecting bones from carcasses killed by other animals and bringing them here for processing. That would implicate that the hominids were scavenging. And scavenging is a very different strategy than hunting. 